Okay, so I am doing a vlog today. I am trying to get a few videos filmed since um, I was at my dad's and like I told you guys last night and um, well, I got in a time crunch and I could not even film a video over there. So I'm trying to kind of make up for that now that I'm back at my other house and I'm trying to film in just a totally different setting. But I'm going to do a vlog for you today because I have a few things I want to share with you guys. Uh, first, this is kind of random actually, but I just kind of wanted to share with you guys. These are some pajamas that I got. I am, I don't know, I don't wear the cutest pajamas um, because I am all about comfort when I'm sleeping. And I'm sure that y'all don't even care, but I may be the only one who likes that. But um, I really like to look cute when I sleep though. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I'm really weird. Um, but I like to look really cute. So um, I actually got these pajamas for Christmas. And if you're like me, um, you I like these pajamas are long sleeve and they have long pants. So I feel like I'm choking when I'm sleeping in them. And so I always end up sleeping in like a t-shirt and some shorts or something. But I really, but that's just not cute, you know, so I've been trying on the hunt to find some cute pajamas to sleep in that I can actually sleep in because usually what I do is when I go over to friends' houses or whatever, um, I wear cute pajamas and then sometimes I just get sick of it and like in the middle of the night I'll change into some other pajamas that I'm like comfy because I'll always bring like an extra pair which is, I know I'm weird because I know that I cannot sleep in pajamas that make me hot or that make me feel like I'm choking, like, that are too tight or something, but they're cute. But, anyways, I have solved the problem to that. And if you are like me, here's the answer. I actually got, um, this is pajamas from Victoria's Secret. And they are plaid. And as you can see, like, they have, and you can actually roll them up because then you button them right here, like, roll them to, like, a, what is it, a quarter or whatever it is. Um but or three-fourths but um it's really really cute they are so thin and so soft it's ridiculous and they are adorable they do not make you hot and they're like really loose and flowy like I got them like a little bit bigger but um they're really loose and flowy like so you're not you don't get hot you have like breathing room sorry that was my dad he is I am me or whatever you want to call it on gmail but um but yeah so I really really like it uh I really like it a lot. Um, I definitely recommend it if you are looking for some really cute pajamas and you're like me and you just like all about comfort. So this solves a problem. You can get cute pajamas and you can have comfort at the same time. Amazing, right? Okay, and here are the bottoms. They look like this. They're really flowy. This is the back of them and they have like a cute little pocket right here. And they have a little... Uh, belt or ribbon belt thing and if you look I'm going to try to show you but it has like um like sparkles yep and you can see the sparkles there but it's really really pretty and I really recommend them and I don't know if I showed you this on the top but they have little bitty balls like like that and I got matching slippers to go with them how cute is that um but they're really really cute and I highly and they look adorable on they're so so cute adorable so I highly recommend these if you are trying to find some pajamas and also I didn't show you but they have the little balls and it's just like buttons right here and then it just flares out and then it has like little balls all the way around the neck and down the front of it that match the bottoms and they're so cute and it's light blue and it has black and pink in it like a dark pink and um, white stripes and they're just really cute um, but I got them for Christmas from Victoria's Secret okay and then my next thing I've been getting kind of into books lately um, I really really I don't know I've been getting into books lately so I kind of want to share the two books that I am going to attempt to read I am into the older books, like when, you know, there's horses and carriages and things like that. And then you have the princesses and stuff. I know I'm weird, but um, I really, really like that. And my favorite books to read are love stories. So, 
if you are into anything of what I just said, then you will probably like these books. I think I'm going to like them. I have not read them yet, so I will, will let you know, like, how I like them. But this one is called Sauvé, and it's by Celia Rees. And it's about this woman. I think she falls in love with this man, but, um... He, and it's back in 1794, so it's, but she's really pretty, and she falls in love with this guy, but I think he's, like, trouble, so she gets, her, finds herself in a lot of trouble and, um, stuff like that, but she's still gonna, like, try to fight through it, I guess, to fall in love with him, I don't really know, I'm just saying you what I think it's gonna be, um, and this one is called Violet Eyes, and it's by Debbie... I don't know how to pronounce that, whatever. If you can see that right there, Debbie something another. But uh, it looks really pretty. I guess I can read you the back just because I feel like it. When a storm brings the dashing Prince Richard to her family's farm, Violet falls in love at first sight. Richard also gives Violet his heart, but he knows his marriage is destined to be an affair of state, not of passion. For the king and queen have devised a contest to determine who will win their son's hand in marriage. So apparently he falls in love with this girl, and but his I'm guessing his mother and his father, the queen and king, do not like her. So they're like devising a plan to have a contest, so hopefully she'll lose or something. But um, she enters the contest, and she's trying to... Um, when so she can be married to the prince which i think is a really cool book so i will definitely let you know if these books are any good and i have a problem with starting books and if i don't like them then i just can't finish them so um but if these books are really good i will definitely let you guys know and i have one other thing to share with you guys i know this is going to be kind of long but um i my grandmother i call her my nana she is getting married, and she's getting married March 5th, and I just bought a dress for her wedding because I want to look cute, you know, and I got, it's black, and I actually will try to throw in a picture right about now. So that is what it looks like. I really think it's cute. Um, there was other dresses, and it's obviously by Black and White or White House Black Market or something or another. I think it's really pretty. But um, well, there's only like I feel bad because I told my Nana I was like, oh, I was so excited. I, I ordered them online. You know, I bought two, like in two different sizes, so that way um, I can pick the size that fits me the best, and I'll just return the other one. But I was telling my Nana, I was like so excited, I got a dress, you know, and she was like, what color is it? And I said, black. And she was like, you got a black dress? She's like, that's for mourning. Like, you're going, like I'm supposed to go to your funeral or something. But I feel, that kind of makes me feel bad now. Like, should I go and get another dress? Because she said that. Um... I'm kind of wanting to, but let me know if you like the dress. I obviously, I liked other dresses at Black and White. If I don't know if y'all are going to go look, but I liked other ones there. But I had a hard time finding something that was going to be appropriate for the wedding and that would be appropriate around my Nana and stuff. So that's why I went with that one. There was a one-sleeved one or like a one-shoulder one that comes across right here and it's a black dress too. I love black, like... Hence my shirt. It's black. <laughs> but um, I really, really liked that one. But I can't. I decided not to do it because I wanted to have two sleeves. And I wanted it to be like actual sleeves because I wanted it to be appropriate for my Nana. And then I think I'm going to get like black pumps with it. But the reason why I just told you all this stuff is because I am deciding to. Uh, or I'm wondering if, you, if I should um, do a formal event because like a formal event hairstyle and tutorial where you could like use it for prom or if you're going to a special occasion like I am um I'm going to my aunt my grand I don't know why I said, just said my aunt my uh, nana's wedding and it's also by the way the reason why I also chose that dress is I was worried about like what to do because it's supposed to be cold where I'm going and that was another issue for me 
Weather is such an unpredictable thing to me lately. But anyways, just let me know if I should do a formal event hairstyle and tutorial for you guys if you would like it. Um, and let me know if you like the dress and if you think it's appropriate enough for my uh, Nana's wedding. She said she was just kidding with me, but she knows it got to me and I think she feels bad now. But still, just let me know what you think. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.